Hi, welcome to Yoga with Bliss. Today, we're working on a simple thing, sitting down in a chair and getting back up. But it's not so simple. If you've been ill, you've been injured, you cope with very large body size, you have skeletal issues, muscle issues, who knows? Yet still, accommodate your body. Appreciate what it can do, accept your body, and always intend a little bit further. So in this practice, we're going to be seated, and we're going to do work that is like a yoga chair. Come on with me. It's only about 15 minutes long. You might start out doing the first two or three minutes. That'll be fine. See what your body says and do what's right for you. I've got a chair that is a nice height for me to be able to sit with my feet right on the ground. Okay, I have to sit on the edge of the chair, but you make sure you can sit with your feet right on the ground. Okay? So, I always start with just a little warm up. Even if we're only working on getting in and out of the chair, <clears throat> I'm gonna call this video, Get Up Off of That Dang. But before we work on getting up off of that dang, loosen it up. Just a few shoulder rolls. How do your shoulders feel? How's your back? What about a few elbow circles? I want you to notice, aren't you pushing a little bit with your legs just to make your body go side to side? Do you want an arm circle? I'm going to start my arm circle down low. How's it feel? And then I'll see. Does it feel okay? Higher. Some days my shoulder won't do that. Today it will. You do whatever's right for you. Breathing. Let's center up. This is a seated mountain. You feel your weight rooted into your sits bones and your feet. That's your triangle of support. This is your asana, your seat of the mountain. Take a moment, double shoulder roll. Feel your shoulder blades down your back. Face front, I'm gonna show you something sideways though. It's normal for people to sit like this in a chair. Don't worry about it. Welcome to the human race. But what I want you to do is weasel your butt into the back of the chair and then sit yourself up so your back is, I'm gonna put my, oh, you can't see the weight. I see how nice and straight my back is. So facing this way, I'm gonna weasel my butt back if I need to. Make sure my feet are still on the floor. And sit myself up nice and tall with that shoulder roll. Very nice. Again, I'm just gonna center myself. Notice how is my back feeling with a few side to side. Now I'm just gonna do a few round over. Get up. Round over. I'll show you sideways. I curved my back. I sat right up. I curved. I sat. You haven't gotten off your butt yet. You're sitting right there. You did some warm-ups. You're loosening up your spine a little bit. Now feel that flat back. You keep facing me on the front of your chair. I only turn sideways for you to be able to see. I want you to put your feet on the ground and press down, press down. Can you see it? My butt comes up a little bit because my butt cheeks are contracting. My quads are contracting. Yes, I can't resist doing my hands also. I have a lot of arthritis there. It's good for them. And I'm pushing, just pushing. This is the beginning of your work. You can do this often and push and push. This part of get up off of that thing is called the press. 
next move is called as if. It's as if you were going to get up. I press down my feet. I lean forward as much as I need to, depending on how your body's proportioned. You may need to lean much further if you're thinking about as if. Sit back down. As if. Sit back down. As if. It's just a little heel press. Lean forward. Let your arms counterweight. And feel as if you were going to get up. I just feel a little less weight on my six bones. The softness of my derriere is right on the chair. I haven't left my chair. That's as if. Take a moment. I need to do some wiggles. That gave me some, oh, need to relax my back. There's those shoulder rolls. You're good at them, aren't you? Here we are. All right. Here's the press. The press. And you can do something with your arms if you want to. Here's the press. Keep doing those presses while I get to the side view. And the press. Here's as if. Come on back. Do you want to do it slower? That'll be fine. As if. Go slow as you want. Come on back. So you're listening to your body. You're leaning as much as you want to. You push as if you're going to lift. But you're really just having a little less weight on your butt. Now the next thing is called almost. It ain't easy. Sometimes I call it a little bit. For this one, you get up a little bit. Come on down. Did you see that little air space under my butt? Come on down. A little bit. Come on down. This is the exercise. I'll face front and show them all to you. We start out with my shoulder roll. Got a good seat? Yes. First is heel press right here. We press and press and press. Relax your neck. Press. You're working your butt. And your thighs, you don't need tension in your neck. And press, and press. All right, are you ready to the, do the next one? We're gonna go as if you were getting up. As if you were getting up. As if you were getting up. Here we are. Every time you come back, as if. Go slower if you want to. Best posture. Weight on the feet, less on the butt, best posture, all the weight on your butt. So that's as if you were getting up. Next is a little bit. Here we are. I'm going to lift a little bit. Side view so you can see. I just barely cleared that chair. A little bit. And my thighs are still on the chair. If you've got fabulous, great, large thighs, they may be laying on the chair. That's okay. Think of your sit bones. Come on up a little bit. There you go. Right about now, your thighs may be exhausted if you've been bed bound or chair bound. Stop when you want to. Breathing. Then, at another time in your day, not right now if your thighs are very tired, at another time in your day, put some music on for yourself and wait on the heels. Let your arms counterweight and go ahead and clear the chair a little. Careful, careful. Maybe your body will stand up. Maybe you need your walker for your body to stand up. I'm going to pull my chair closer so I can show that version again. So again, the first part were the exercises to develop the muscles. This part is when you're not too exhausted and you want to feel the benefit of your exercises. I'm coming to standing using my heel press, my lean forward, little bit with my arms as a counterweight. How much did I need to lean? See this chair? Sometimes you might even get up with your hands on a chair. So it's getting up your way. Now here's the work. Press, press. Do you need to use your walker? Come on up. How wide are your legs? Mine are real wide. Because 
I was thinking of my friend who has real wide legs, so they sit far apart when she sits down. I'm going to bring myself down to the chair. So here I have put the low body weight on the feet. Oh, I can feel the chair on my tush safely, safely before I get up. Here I am. I'm going to get up again. So I little, I do press with the heels. Very nice. Breathing. It's as if I'm going to get up and I check how far do I need to lean. Do I want to hold on to something? And then using my walker or the chair, what does my body need? I lift my tush. Now, bent legs. I lift my body with assistance or not. And sit myself down the same way. That's it. I got to come forward and do some shoulder rolls. Honest to God. I'm a very fit person. My thighs could feel that I worked. You're not going to do this all at once if you've been chair bound or bed bound. You're going to do it as much as your body said this. You're going to accommodate your body, appreciate your body, accept what it can do, and intend to do a little more. We did a workout for the thighs and butt first. Then we actually practiced getting up. I'm gonna practice getting up right now. So I pressed my heels. I leaned forward as if I was gonna get up. I got up a little bit, it felt okay. Then using whatever support you need, you pull yourself up and then walk your feet underneath you before you go anywhere. But if you're gonna sit down again, leave them wide. There you are, hold on to your walker or to the chair seat and you lean yourself down, arms out for counterbalance. Lean back and find, where is that chair? Oh, the softness on the back of my thigh just grazed the chair. I know it's there. And then I can sit myself down. There you go. Great job. This is for you to customize. Do as much, do as little. Put your own music on. You can do this three minutes in the morning, three minutes at night, three minutes whenever you feel like it, and then gradually make it four, and then gradually five, till you have strengthened your thighs, your back, your core, and you're able to stand better. This is it. Get up off of that thing. It's a fabulous workout. For those who have been unable to walk. Alrighty. Thank you for practicing with me. Really, it is a chair. Wait, I have to show you this. This part right here, that's a yoga chair. That's why I said it is yoga with bliss. It's the asana. The chair. Highly modified. Just for you. Alrighty. I'll stop my recording. I'll post it online so you can see it. And then other people who have the same need, they can see it too. Take care. Bye-bye. Yes, end of the recording.